what is good you guys we're back with another video it's been a minute I haven't posted in four months i just checked today I've been posting shorts the last couple days but we are back with another full video i haven't made one of these in literally such a long time man but um we're talking about the boston celtics today because uh, i have a couple pointers to talk about um and there's two reasons because of it. One, because I went to the Christmas game against the Bucks and I got to really see like everything, like how they interact on the bench with each other, like how the, like the vibes are when they get down, like the ups and downs. I just got to see that more closely when I went to the game. And two, Jalen Brown just dropped a 50 burger. So it's it's the time to talk talk about them. But you let's have a content. Go like yourself on the V if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. Before we start talking about the Celtics, shout out to Luka first. First game back, didn't play great, only had 14 points. Pat, Patrick Beverly is always trying to get in LeBron's head, but LeBron won once again. And the Knicks, mm, it's bad, bro. It's bad. But anyway, let's get into the video, man. The reason why I want to talk about the Boston Celtics, like I said, is for the two reasons I just explained to you. Um, because when I watched them in person, it was just like, it was just... They have nobody to calm them down. They, they didn't really have a veteran presence. I guess that's because Al Horford was, uh, wasn't playing. Dennis Shooter is that point guard type guy. I guess he could be that for you, but it, it's just not enough at the point guard position. It just feels like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown always have to do a, a lot more than they need to be doing uh, out of their roles. And obviously their roles are way expanded because they're like superstars now. And Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, especially Jalen Brown has grown into that, but they do way too much on the court, I feel like. Like, them always bringing up the ball and initiating offense and trying to be playmakers, that's not them, I don't think, in at the stage. I mean, it could be at some point, but I don't think it's them at the stage. Same thing with, like, guys like Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. I don't think it's them. But let's let's really talk about this game specifically. Jason Tatum did not play tonight, um, and that's why Jalen Brown had a 50-burger. Play when I went to watch the Boston Celtics. I think the notable guys are Al Horford, Dennis Schroeder, and Josh Richardson. I, I don't, I may be missing some because they they're missing a lot of people. No offense to Romeo Lankford, Lankford but Romeo Lankford was starting. You know what I'm saying? That's how many people there are missing. I think Grant Williams was out as well. So, yeah, I didn't get to see those guys play in person. So, maybe that 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 makes my opinion a little bit different and off. But if Jalen Brown just didn't have the ball in their hands or Peyton Pritchard wasn't making a three at that game, it felt like nothing was going on for them. Also, Marcus Smart in the, in the second half, he was going crazy as well. But when I was watching this game... Jalen Brown was dominant. He he was literally dominant. Like he he couldn't miss. And all it is the magic. It is the magic. But but to see a performance from a guy like that that that's just insane, bro. It's really insane. Peyton Pritchard is a guy that I've been I've been liking what I've been I've been seeing, especially with these guys going out with COVID and stuff like that. He's get, been getting more opportunity. Then show a lot tonight. Grant Williams played decent and other guys like that. Then Shooter also did what I expect Dan Shooter would to do, especially with a guy like Jason Tatum out. Dan Shooter is a guy that that looks for his shot, although he can kind of be a playmaker because he's so fast and can kind of create for, uh, create for others. He really wants to create for his self at first. He's a six man type guy. That's the role he thrived in the most in Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. Now he was made the scapegoat at some point, and it it was for good reason at some point in LA. But I think all role players look worse in LA because it's just so much spotlight. Not even in LA, wherever LeBron goes, it's it's a hard time for role players. Um, reputation around the league: like Kyle Kuzma, Wesley Matthews, Kip Davis, Carwell Pope, Dennis Schroeder. There's a whole bunch of people where, like when when you, when you play with LeBron, that's one of the things that. That's one of the cons, I guess. That's one of the cons of playing with LeBron. But he's back kind of on a more low-key place, and he's playing really, really well with the Boston Celtics. And when a guy like, like I said, when a guy like Tatum goes out, he's going to shine for show. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. If you like that content, go ahead and like us up on the video you haven't already. I haven't said that in so long. Four months, like I said, but it's not like I haven't been posting any content on the internet. I post like three times on TikTok, so go ahead, click the link in my bio for my TikTok because I post basically daily over here. And I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm not probably not going to be posting daily over here. It's just so hard, especially when school is about to start up in about like two or, two or three days, I think. I don't want to think about it. But anyways, not daily over here, but certainly i'm gonna try weekly or at least two times a week so like i said if you like this type of content go and like something on the video if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time